just finishing setting up, fueling up and all the rest. I'm gonna head out. I've been out for a couple of days. There was actually a uh, regatta on in the bay and it's always a bit of a pain in the ass when you try to fish all the amount of people who will come in. So uh, skipped a couple of days fishing. Um, today so we're gonna need to I'm gonna need to do my pots and gonna fish as well. Now there was an interesting catch yesterday, there was a Spanish mackerel caught. There might have been a few caught, don't know. They normally turn up, you know, one or two. It's something we never used to get, but over the last few years you've been seeing one or two and sometimes we even get Benito show up, which is what I really would like to catch. I mean I have caught them. Um, but the ones I don't know that we get here are well, when I ate those two that I had, they were absolutely delicious, so, you know. Spanish mackerel, mm, it's all right. But um, the Benito ones we get, they were good. Now, I'm not sure if I'm gonna sh show the, all the pots and all the fishing today. Obviously, I'll probably split it up into a couple of different videos. We'll see how we get on. But uh, it's calm at the moment, but this week it's supposed to break down a bit, so, We'll see how we go, but the you know the videos I've been doing a couple of videos a week, sometimes more. Um, lately, it's been a bit more sketchy because the fishing's been harder. I haven't really found an awful lot, so we'll see how we get on with the weather as it changes and um, if it gets a bit too sloppy for the boat, <clears throat> but still good enough for the shore. We had to, we'll head down the shore and give it a go. But, um, right, let's get moving. So I thought I'd try put some bass out here. I'm not expecting much. Um, all the bass we had left a couple of weeks ago, so really don't think there'll be much here. There's always the odd one, but or two, but um, not so many. The trouble is the fog's come down, so I can't see where I'm going now. Well, I've got the GPS, but it's very awkward out here because the tide pushes you so quickly. And the lens is going to fog up all the time as well in the fog, so we'll come back and get some. Well, just had a take when I was reeling in. Feels pretty decent, so we'll have a look. Hopefully the lens isn't too, too blurry. Ah, I've got a problem. I've got my net locked up still. Damn. still use it. Look by the looks of it. Big bass though. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice one. So, is there any more? That's the question. Um, and I need to get this out. There we go, that came out nicely. You hook underneath the chin. It's going to wreck my lure if I don't get hold of it. There we go. Hopefully, you can see that. Now I've got to check for the rocks because I haven't been watching. So, that was the only bass I had. Um, I've stopped up another mark now to see if there's any fish here. I've just caught a mackerel. 
thought I'd try this because I've got to come past here. I haven't fished it for a while here. You don't get a lot here normally, but you get a few mackerel. Well, I've had gurnards and other weird and wonderful things here as well. But really, I need bait for those. Just th These lures have caught them before, but they're not ideal for that. These are the big lures, so I'm probably going to miss the back one. go through them so I let it run through a bit further so hopefully there'll be a few on here. different. Black green. You know this little bream changed my mind about it. Put it back. There it goes. Right I think I'm gonna move. Hog's clearing a bit. And it's died off here. There is just one little spot, a bit further up, I'm just going to try it, and then I'm going to move off to a completely different area. You might be able to tell we're a bit close to the fog wall. There's a lighthouse, as I say. So we're having a nice early start this morning. It's a lovely day out here. A little bit of swell, but not too bad. Um, going to be trying for some bass. Might try for some pollock after as well. But um, we're going to be. I'm training a little bit first, but then I'm going to start casting and spinning and see if we can pick some uh, fish up. Thank <laughs> you. 
it is. 41 centimetres. You can see there, something's had a, had a crack at it at some point. Lovely big scar along the back there. There's no scales. I was just trailing the, the line behind the boat, holding the rod, and something grabbed it. I don't think it's very big. It might be a mackerel. Could be a piece of weed. You never know. Sometimes bass will swim in towards you. Just you get near the boat, they suddenly take off. Look like that really big one we had last year in the bay. This is going to be a mackerel. Stopped reeling and it grabbed it. That's mackerel. Looks like it's going to be a mackerel, mate. Right? Once it stops moving, do it. What are you supposed to do with that? Okay, that's a bass. It's almost 48 that, <laughs> it's just very very skinny. <laughs> 